Welcome back. Hope you are keeping safe. Hoping this video will bring joy to you. Will you share this with friends? The marabou stork is a large wading bird in the stork family Sikoniidae. It breeds in Africa south of the Sahara, in both wet and arid habitats, often near human habitation, especially landfill sites. It is sometimes called the undertaker bird due to its shape from behind, cloak-like wings and back, skinny white legs, and sometimes a large white mass of hair. The marabou stork is a massive bird. It is often credited with the largest spread of any land bird, to rival the Andean condor. Females are smaller than males. Unlike most storks, the three Leptoptilo species fly with the neck retracted like a heron. The marabou is unmistakable due to its size, bare head and neck, black back, and white underparts. It has a huge bill, a pink gula sac at its throat, a neck ruff, and black legs and wings. The sexes are alike, but the young bird is browner and has a smaller bill. Full maturity is not reached for up to four years. Like most storks, the marabou is gregarious and a colonial breeder. In the African dry season, it builds a tree nest in which two or three eggs are laid. It is known to be quite ill-tempered. It also resembles other storks in that it is not very vocal, but indulges in bill-rattling courtship displays. The throat sac is also used to make various noises at that time. It breeds in colonies, starting during the dry season. The female lays two to three eggs in a small nest made of sticks, eggs hatch after an incubation period of 30 days. Their young reach sexual maturity at four years of age. Lifespan is 41 years in captivity and 25 years in wild. It is a frequent scavenger, and the naked head and long neck are adaptations to this livelihood, as it is with the vultures with which the stork often feeds. This large and powerful bird eats mainly carrion, scraps, and feces but will opportunistically eat almost any animal matter it can swallow. It occasionally eats other birds including culi nestlings, pigeons, doves, pelican and cormorant chicks, and even flamingos. During the breeding season, adults scale back on carrion and take mostly small, live prey since nestlings need this kind of food to survive. Common prey at this time may consist of fish, frogs, insects, eggs, small mammals and reptiles such as crocodile hatchlings and eggs, and lizards and snakes. Though known to eat putrid and seemingly inedible foods, these storks may sometimes wash food in water to remove soil. When feeding on carrion, marabou frequently follow vultures, which are better equipped with hooked bills for tearing through carrion meat and may wait for the vultures to cast aside a piece, steal a piece of meat directly from the vulture or wait until the vultures are done. As with vultures, marabou storks perform an important natural function by cleaning areas via their ingestion of carrion and waste. Increasingly, marabous have become dependent on human garbage and hundreds of the huge birds can be found around African dumps or waiting for a handout in urban areas. Marabous eating human garbage have been seen to devour virtually anything that they can swallow, including shoes and pieces of metal. Marabous conditioned to eating from human sources have been known to lash out when refused food. Thanks a lot, and see you very soon. Till then, Take care of you and family.